prediction. The idea with lean is to, uh, to come up with hypotheses of where things are going to go, and then you test them. So uh, there's something called the PDSA, um, plan, do, um, sorry, I'm used to PDCA, plan, do, check, act, uh, PDS study, act, sorry. Um, uh, methodology called trees, which is, I could go on and on about that, it's quite amazing. It's a theory of creativity and of projection of the future, actually, through technical means. Uh, and again, change-driven design where you're projecting what will happen. With Agile, there seems to be, at least the stuff I've read, that there's this tenet that the future is unknowable, so don't worry about it. And do what you can with what you know and evolve as you learn. And now, I'm not saying that in a negative sense. In fact, you'll see in just a minute. Uh, I actually think there's a positive element to that. Um, and, and one of the things that goes into that is like, like a, this consultant says, much of what is known is actually not true. All right. So we have emergent behavior, short development cycles, enable quick reaction to learning and customer involvement, all factoring into that. So to sort of summarize those, uh, Agile is, is uh, effective. We've established that. We took the numbers. You know. uh, it's simpler uh, than Lean is by quite a bit. Uh, there's fewer techniques and they're easier to learn. There's less change to implement in the organization in order to start doing Agile. Uh, but it's also less powerful, as we saw from the, the numbers uh, at the beginning. Uh, it's at the level of the individual systems and it has terrific human values. Lean is also effective. It's harder to do. Um, it's more change required. I mean, you have to take a system view of your entire enterprise uh, and, and, and redo that, at least at the entire project level and, and generally higher than that. Uh, also more powerful, it goes to the system and system of system level and also has great values. And this is another quote from Richard. I asked him what did he think about, you know, tell me what you think, you know, agile, lean. And um, this was his reaction, that it's, Agile is really elegant. He, he is a great admirer of Agile. Uh, he said it's local and team focused. It's based on a number of simplifying assumptions. Uh, and in many cases, those simplifying assumptions are good enough. Uh, it's easy to implement. And he said he's actually talked a lot with different Agile advocates. And he said when you combined the lean tools versus the Agile tools head on head, that they were both in agreement that the lean tools were more powerful. However, a lot of companies and projects have had a very difficult time making the lean stuff work for them. Again, it's more than just adopting a, a tool or a technique. It's, it's embracing system-wide change, and that takes commitment from the top down. So it's very difficult to just grow it organically from the bottom up. All right. So here's where I, I get to say that I think there's value to both of those. Uh, the lean side is basically get prepared, you know, get ready up front, do your homework, sort of a thing. Agile is get started, get get working. So I believe that uh, a combination of the two of those is actually very appropriate. You do the preparation that you can do up front, but you do it you know, as hard as you can, and then get going, because you're going to learn as you go. So I think that there is room to combine those, those techniques of lean and agile, as we discussed. Now this final set of slides I'm going to show you is uh, the human condition part. This is very interesting. A few years ago, I ran across a study where uh, uh, this group had interviewed a bunch of the highest performers in, in all of society and asked them, what are your keys to success? So they talked to leaders in industry, leaders in academia, leaders in the government, um, inventors, entrepreneurs, all extremely successful people. And, and they gave their, their write-ups. And so what I did was I took those and I condensed them into an outline of the principles and so for most of the principles, you had multiple people that were saying those principles in one way or the other. Now, I was struck here just recently when I pulled those back out at how well those align with, uh, with Lean and Agile and the things they recommend. So I'm going to run through and show you these. 
And these are essentially unedited. And I think you'll see, based on what we just talked about, how the lean and, and agile principles uh, align very well with the things that just have made a lot of people very successful in life. So the first principle, put people first. Uh, everybody, but put people first, but uh, certainly customers. Unflinching honesty, people notice that. They also notice when we're dishonest, don't they? Uh, contribute to society, not just to self. It sounds almost uh, anti-capitalistic, doesn't it? <laughs> but that's been a key for capitalistic success for a lot of people. Uh, take some beach time, uh, I think that's obvious. Business by handshake, it's a question of trust. You know, um, there's a there's old saying about uh, if somebody doesn't trust you and doesn't trust other people, then that's a good sign that you need to be cautious with them because an untrusting person often is untrustable themselves. All right, accept human messiness. Now, this is positively dimming because we are very messy, aren't we? Always listen. Be interested rather than trying to be interesting. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> um, listen to your gut. Set a worthy vision and goals. That's also very dimming-ish. You've got to have something that's uh, a purpose to aim at. It needs to be, actually, it needs to be good enough to inspire loyalty. Serving, service-oriented. Uh, uh, um, Prediction oriented. Observe trends. That's involving prediction, isn't it? Lasting value, one of the lean principles. Strategize. Uh, I love that first one. It's the rebels who make the difference. Being sort of one myself. Conventional wisdom is always wrong. That's actually served us fairly well in investing here recently. <laughs> Um, involving others, anticipating. Again, here we have this prediction idea. Anticipate what can go wrong and fix it. Then act. Here's the agile side, right? Just go do it. Don't, don't just talk about it. Ideas don't accomplish anything. That's a pretty radical statement, isn't it? Okay. Don't sit around and just go act. Win, win only. Deming uses that phrase a lot. <coughs> and finally, measure results. Um, and be honest about your measurement. Did you actually accomplish something? Not, not did you just show up? So, to repeat, the two most effective software developments uh, approaches ever developed are lean and agile. Lean, as long as it's not lean, is based on dimming, who, in, who emphasize things like cooperation, ways to recognize what your problems really are, predicting the future, and being people-oriented. Agile is principled. It's also simpler, and uh, you can get started earlier with it. And a great combination is to put the two together. Now, here's what I promised you at the very beginning, dangled in front of you to hopefully keep your attention for the last 45 minutes, is that there are more details on actual uh, lean software development. And rather than give you what turned out to be a very long uh, web address, you can just go into Google and write in crosstalk lean software. And it should lead you right to the page with the article. And it's totally free. All right.